Hi, I'm Elisa Martin, uh, art editor for Uplift Magazine, and I have a very special treat for you today. Um, I'm here with Nir Weinblut here in Beverly Hills. Uh, he is the restaurant owner and chef of La Gondola, very special. We are going to be with uh, my assistant chef Elisa here today. <laughs> we are going to be playing, we're going to be cooking, eating, drinking, and tasting some of our fine foods that we made some fun recipes for you, and we're gonna be yes. tasting some of the fine wines of the Herzog Winery that we paired up with one of some of our foods. We're just gonna have a fun time and play and drink and eat. Well, I'm excited to see what Nir has to show us. Today we have three recipes. Three recipes. And uh, let's start. We're gonna play with you in the kitchen here. We're gonna start with our first appetizer. It can be an hors d'oeuvre, can be an appetizer. It's something yeah. popular that we do at our events. It's a home cured beef bacon. Beef is a key word um. here. Uh, we wrap it in our dates. Now these are pitted dates. Very important to use pitted dates because you don't want anybody cracking your tooth. Uh, so with our pitted dates, our beef bacon, and sprinkled with a little brown sugar. I'm going to teach you how we're going to roll it. You're going to roll a few, okay. and we're going to put it in the oven at high temperature. And then basically, you're going to put it kind of on the end. Okay. And we're just going to be a tight roll. All right. And then we're just going to put them on this little tray here. So now that we rolled a few, we're going to put this in the oven. All it's right. really important to go high heat. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of brown oh, okay. of our brown sugar on top. It's going to caramelize it and give it a little candy style. Today I'm going to put together a, a very great Mediterranean style salad that goes great mm. with the, the, the bacon and date. Uh, so this is actually our tahina dressing, our homemade tahina dressing that okay. we just kind of put on the bottom. It's a little bit of a secret part of the salad. We okay. have fresh mint, we have basil, we have fresh Italian parsley, flat parsley, very important. Oh, okay. uh, we have some mixed greens, just a very nice mix I love of, a herbs. Lot of fresh herbs. And we just kind of place it in the center. And I would tell people when you're putting a salad together, don't push it down, just you know, let it fall naturally. Just let it, you know, sure. gives it height. And then we have our keeping it gluten free and keeping it starch free. Um, for a lot of people, we'll do uh, oh. croutons, but these are actually yam croutons. So we kind of Yum. just you know, sprinkle them around. That's Again, great. when you're plating, if you're going to plate ahead of time, don't put it in the center. Your salad's going to drop. And we have our quinoa. We do a mixed quinoa, kind of mixed colors. Then we have our little radishes. Sometimes, if you want, you can even marinate them. And you can julienne them, slice them any way you want. Sprinkle it. Gives a little color. Again, height. Don't let it go how it just floats on its own. And this is our homemade oh. Italian pesto oh, dressing. Okay. So you do have your tahina dressing on the bottom. And then just, again, a light sprinkle on the mm. side. And that's it. And you have your uh, beautiful salad. And then we're going to place the little bacon uh, wrapped dates on the side. All right. Just a little crunch, a little sweetness. You have all that and uh, some magic in the mouth. Now, it very important fact, you divine. have to take it off. If you don't have parchment paper, if you use a Teflon pan, but okay. you have to take it off the pan right away. The reason is the sugar will caramelize and get hard oh. and it'll stick to the pan. If I was putting it as an appetizer or as a salad, you can put like two on the side. Must wash this down with a great wine. And I figured, you know, let's be a little bit different. Rosé. Rosé, I think, is something new in the kosher market. It's afternoon, we're in California, it's warm outside. Kind of the secret of this salad is kind of mix it up a little bit. Oh Cause yeah, because we've got that secret tahina underneath. And you have your Italian. Go for it. One bite, two bites. Go for it. Mm. Oh my god. I must say I might have one too. This is our petite tender. Very lean, very uh, yeah. nice cut of meat. It's about eight, this is about eight to ten ounces. So we're going to sear it. It's been marinated. Now we're going to put a little bit of fat. This I actually say a little bit of duck fat. Adds a nice little flavor to it. You okay. can use beef fat, you can use olive oil, you can use canola, you can use whatever it is you want. I'm just gonna put a drop of it in there. This is gonna be in the recipe. This is a coffee maple glaze. I'm just gonna put a drop of, on top. Oh. Just kind of give a little flavor to it. And now we're just going to take it. And that's what you want to hear. Sizzle. You don't hear sizzle, you did a bad job. I love different fresh herbs. We have our fresh rosemary. You can just add a little, any herb you like. Garlic, obviously you like the garlic burnt fat. But thyme, sage, rosemary, just take a little bit. Throw it inside. We're not going to eat it. Oh, that's great. That's it. We've got our nice sizzle. Leave it on the, on the same side. We're going to actually throw it into the oven. We have our oven on oh, okay. 400. About 9-10 minutes. And we should be good to go. 
We got the steak in the oven cooking. That's the benefit of having it in the oven. You don't have to monitor it as much. You put your timer on. Um, now we're going to make our little salsa. So we have here our fresh I watermelon. watermelon. I mean, we're going into the summer. So we've got our fresh watermelon, which is great. has a little sweetness to it. A little kick is we have our jalapenos. Oh, okay. Don't use your fingers or use gloves. Otherwise, you'll be crying the rest of the day. Yes. We got our red onions and peppers. We got here red, but you can use yellow, you can use green. I'm more of a fan of red and yellow. Green has more acid to it. Yeah, so I, I like the that. sweetness of the red. Correct, and then you have your fresh Italian parsley. Mm. A little bit more there, love my fresh Italian parsley. And here we have our extra virgin olive oil. This happens to be a little bit infused with garlic, so it adds a little oh, nice flavor okay. to it. Tuscanini sea salt, I'm a big fan of the coarse sea salt, has a crunch to it, doesn't dissolve. A little thyme. Now the trick is when you're mixing, bottom up. You know, a lot of people, and they'll take a beautiful salad and they'll just kill it. They're just <laughs> from the bottom up, bottom right. up, bottom up. Um, and we're gonna plate it right here next to where the meat's yeah, gonna go. Yeah, delicious. Nice and fresh. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Like any good cut of meat, obviously. Perfect, good medium, medium rare. Important, like any cut of meat, ribeye steak, filet meat, any kind of meat, you're always gonna to wanna to let it rest. Always, you have a little bit more glaze, you can always, with a brush, with a little spoon, a little bit of extra glaze. Mm, that looks great. I'm so a I noticed you, uh, oh, so am I. <laughs> I always throw in a little bit more of our sea salt. You can never yeah, have too great. much sea salt. Um, and now we're gonna slice it up. Now we can literally just, if you're gonna plate it, we can just kind of just plate it like that on the plate. So everybody always says you have to do red. You gotta think out of the box, a great white. So here we have the Russian River, California Chardonnay from Herzog, I think is a phenomenal wine. Mm -hmm. um, what's nice about this wine, obviously we're in a kosher world, we're not putting butter with our steak, even though there are, is amazing vegan butters today, but this wine really has that buttery, very oaky, flavor a little bit and okay. it really brings out the flavor of the meat which complements the steak you still have the meat the watermelon a taste in the sea salt the jalapeno everything all together that is a perfect pairing so like every good thing comes to an end but you got to end with a great chocolate dessert yes. <laughs> so we made a this is our chocolate pecan brownie nice wow. and rich thick i love pecans great belgian with chocolate. chocolate toasted pecans um you can add other like i said other flavors other nuts other things to it Obviously, and I know you're gluten-free, so we made you our gluten-free recipe. And this is our homemade little caramel sauce oh, that yum. we're gonna sprinkle. And since it is gluten-free, I'm gonna share some of my golden love wow. with you. Wow, okay. Here. Since we went different and we went with a great white with the entree, the steak, there's nothing like a great red, like a Pinot Noir, which is a light wine with an amazing chocolate dessert. You know, whenever I have the chocolate in my mouth, I just take a sip, suddenly boom. Now you just taste the wine even better. Yeah, you're right. Right? Okay. Yeah, that goes nicely with chocolate. The fruitiness, the lightness to it. Thank I'm happy you. enjoying it. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. And thank you to the Herzog family for supporting us as always. You guys have been great. Yes. And uh, I'd like to thank you, Aliza, for being my uh, sous chef and partner today. And a big shout out and thank you to Uplift Magazine. Uh, thank you for sharing her with me. Um, I'm just really excited to be part of your magazine. and. Uh, to be a gentleman in this magazine. Yes. I <laughs> uh, really appreciate it and I really wish them the best of success, the best of luck, and I really hope this will be a long partnership. And we're yes. gonna get you back in uh, our studio again here, our kitchen studio, yes. before we head out to your studio. And then, yeah, I gotta get you in my art studio. We have edible art and we're gonna do some uh, yes. painting art. Welcome. Right. Exciting. <laughs> yeah, getting to see, now you'll see my craft a little bit. That's it. Your artistic side. <laughs> yes. We got them up here, Days of Creation. So, I use this area here for a lot of, uh, I'll try to teach students sometimes. Now we're gonna take a look into my kitchen. You put me in the hot seat. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> in your skillet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, come have a seat. So, now it's my turn. Let's take that brush and let's begin. <laughs>
thank you, Mir, oh, for thank you. joining me in my art studio and letting me come into your kitchen. And thank you and, for letting me into uh, your art studio. And uh, it's not a piece <laughs> of steak on a plate, but hey, for the first time. It's and thank good. you to uh, Uplift Magazine for giving yeah. us the opportunity to play together in my kitchen, your studio. Well, thank you so much, Eliza, uh, and I uh, hope to do this you. again with you soon. Thank you. Yes, looking forward.